Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, it's been a long time since I did a video, uh, probably about a year or so I think now, so I wanted to actually appear on this one rather than just uh, put a PowerPoint slide together, although there will be some PowerPoint slides later. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in again, hope you're all well. Um, I've been doing a lot of work over the last year on draw betting. Now, if any of you have watched my previous videos, you'll know that draw betting is one of my favorite things to, to bet on. Um, and it's turned into the only thing that I bet on now. Um, I've done extensive research, you could say, over the last year, uh, tracking hundreds of, well, not hundreds of thousands, but thousands of games, um, looking for the variables that make it likely that a draw will occur. Um, so things like uh, the amount of goals a team will score at home, the amount of goals the opposing team will score and concede away, um, the average shots on target, the average um, expected goals, figures, um, how many draws the teams have had in the last 10 games, how teams compare against teams of similar standings, so um, how a team would compare against somebody that they're close to the close to in the league, how a team will compare to somebody who's top of the league, how they'll play different different styles. Um, I've done a lot of work and I've also looked at some of the more prominent betting um, figures online for draws. So there's a couple out there, I don't really want to mention names, um, but if you type in draw betting on football into Google, you'll be sure to find one in particular who's got quite a, um, a big following and um, makes quite a lot of noise uh, in terms of promotion and stuff. And I've managed to get hold of some of his results to have a look at because really I wanted to do a bit of uh, regression analysis, something to see if I could find the variables that he was using and that this other person was using, just to see how they fitted with what I thought um, and to try and figure out why they were charging so much money to get these courses going. Um, and yeah, it made interesting interesting reading actually. That's That's been kind of one of the enjoyable things. I quite like diving into the stats, as you probably know, and looking into data. And so I've got multiple spreadsheets that do this. Um, and it's yeah, they're not as complicated as you might have thought. The ones that are charging all this money, all, all this money. Um, some of the variables I share with what I've been doing, but a lot of them are fresh, um, and we have different different games that come up on our selections, which I'm quite pleased about actually. Uh, and up until now, I've been thinking, oh, well, no one's going to want to hear about my draw betting system, but you know why not? My my draw betting system, I would argue, is better than those, um, and I've done a lot of work on it. Um, and I think everybody knows that I'm not out to try and scam anybody. If you can see, I've been posting videos for, for quite a while now, um, and that's just not my style. So basically, I wanted to introduce this uh, system that I've created. It sounds spammy calling it a system, doesn't it? It's, I've put together a lot of variables um, and set the parameters and said to my database, return me matches where X, Y, Z, well, it's more like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, J, there's a lot of them. Show me where all of these variables are met. Um, the two teams are performing in the way that I want them to. The stats back up what I've set out in the parameters. And it'll, I'll say, return me those games. And then I'll use those as a, uh, a draw selection. And it's been incredibly successful. So uh, the spreadsheet that I've got at the moment, which I'm going to share in a minute, um, has got around 200 games on it, I think. And we're up at about 40% strike rate, I think. Um, the figures will be on the... On the spreadsheet, I hesitate because I've tried to do this video a few times. I'm not really good in front of the camera. It's not really what I'm comfortable with. Um, and every time I've done it, there's been more draws the next day, the next day, the next day, because there's so many selections. Um, the figures keep changing. So a couple of days ago, I put this together and did a spreadsheet and stuff, and the, the figures said one thing. And now there's been a few more games with the figures say something else. Basically, we're around that uh, upper 30s, low 40s strike rate. Um, a really good return in terms of level stakes. Um, so yeah, I think I think once you have a look at the spreadsheet, you'll be really excited by it. And I think it's uh, hopefully going to provide you with all some, some really good content. And if you do want a copy of the spreadsheet, I'm happy to provide you. Um, I'll have to do a bit of work to, to get it to you. So if you could like this video, just to let me know if it's worth my time in making it available, um, then I'm happy to do that. It's not a like this video, subscribe now so that I can, I don't know, become a YouTube star. Um, it's just a way of indicating to me that there's a, a desire for the spreadsheet because um, then you can have a look at the matches that I've chosen uh, and maybe do a bit of work yourself trying to figure out what's going on and in the future I'll be looking to see if I can make the spreadsheet available um, and make the selections available uh, in advance maybe maybe so that you can sort of follow along with it um, but 
I'm not a tipster, as I've always said, I'm not a tipster, but I'm putting together a system that returns games based on set parameters. I then think that they're very good value for putting value bets on, um, but I'm not going to be sending out emails saying these are the bets for today. I potentially might be able to make it available and say these are the selections that have come up. If you want to place bets on them, you can. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute um, and I will send you to the spreadsheet now. Spreadsheet that we've been talking about. Much more comfortable recording a screen rather than my face. So hopefully this will go a little bit better than the previous uh, part of the video. So here we can see, let's talk you through it. Pretty standard format. We've got the country, league, date of the game with the time, home and away team, what the odds for the draw are at the start of the game, what the result was, what the profit or loss was for level stakes. And then I've split it out. Actually, we don't want to look at the second part over there because I'll show that in another video. So um, we've got your level stakes results here with your profit and loss. So first game, for example, Bosnia, Premier League, I'm not going to bother pronouncing them because I'm only going to offend people. The odds for the draw on this one were 2.82. Fairly low, actually, compared to some of the odds that we get, but we still took it. The result was 1-1, so we won 1.82 profit at level stakes. So if the odds are 2.82, one point of that was... Um, one point of the return was your level stake, so the profit was 1.82. Um, and then over here, I've just done some calculations so that we can see what sort of... Uh, payout we'd be getting at different level stakes um, amounts. So if your level stake was one pound, for example, this this is going to be it. But if you decide each stake, um, each point is worth two pounds, then you're going to get this amount. So you're going to get three point six three pound sixty four because that's um, one point eight two times two. It's pretty simple math, but when I explain it, it doesn't sound simple, does it? And this is your cumulative profit here. So obviously for the first one, it's £3.64. For the second game in Romania, um, actually I should mention, you know, the green ones are the winners. The yellow ones are games that were drawing at 85 minutes, but actually ended up having a winner. So as you can see, this was 3-2. Uh, and I colour them like this because a lot of people like to cash out at 85 minutes on draws. And if you were to do that, these would be winners. So it's a way of being able to track how many extra games you would have won if you'd have employed that strategy. Um, so yeah, so the second game is in Romania League 1, 3.12, so slightly better odds at the start. I've recorded it as a loss because I'm recording the 85 minute ones as losses on here. Um, so minus one point, minus two pound if you'd have done it at level stakes, two pound. You'd have lost 10 pound if each point was uh, 10 pounds and 20 pounds if each point was 20 pounds. So as you can see, this is how the cumulative profit works. So £3.64 that we won on the first game, but then we lost two on the second game. So we're down to £1.64. And then Brazil Serie A, 5, 5.20. This was a great result. Um, 5.20 for the draw. So we ended up at level stakes making 4.20. So 8.20. And then as you can see, we were at 1.64, but we won 8.40. So it's gone to 10.04. And it's just a good way of being able to track, you know, exactly how much you've won accumulatively rather than just on each each bet and again at level stakes 10 and 20 pounds so you can just see where you'd be at if you did change your stakes because obviously i'd always recommend starting off low um well if it depends on your bank balance doesn't it and, and your experience and your confidence really in the system that you're using but um i just find it quite useful to be able to see where i'd be at at different stake levels so as you can see there's quite a lot of green which is really really encouraging um as we scroll down there's Games from 72 leagues, I think, that we had. I might have trimmed it down a little bit since I last counted because I keep a track of the results, um, as you can see on this league tab here. I keep a track of the results and how, how they're performing in each league. Uh, and after we've had a good sample of results, I start taking some in and out if I don't think they're performing particularly well. So at the moment down here, the Scottish Championship is close to getting cold. It's only been four games so far, but they've all lost. And at the other end, Brazil... Serie A, five games, four draws, 9.86 level stake profits, which is really good. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's there's many different leagues. You'll notice that a lot of the leagues are a bit more obscure, so there's not many Premier League or um, Bundesliga, Spanish La Liga. There are a lot more, there are a lot smaller leagues. Um, you know, Panama, 
um, the sort of amateur leagues in Spain, there is a Serie A there. There are, there are some dotted in about, but I find that the draws are priced a lot more handsomely in the smaller leagues, probably because the bookies don't spend as much time looking into them and haven't got quite as much knowledge because it can be quite hard to. Uh, and also because people just don't want to see draws in these games. They're betting on them for over 2.5 goals. They're putting them in accumulators. So the prices are all going to be inflated. Uh, and that's where market failure exists. So we can take advantage of that market failure by taking those value bets uh, on the draws. So yeah, as you can see, this is this is how it's been going. It's uh, two and a half weeks or just over two weeks uh, worth of data here. It's, there's a lot of games that get thrown up. I'm not saying that you would necessarily want to back each game um, a lot of them will take place at the same time so a lot of people don't like having two bets running at the same time so that would help you um, slim down your selections but as you can see we we don't go long before we get a win um, we've the most I've gone which is funny because I've took so long recording this video that I'm quite pleased though that we got a, a bad run yesterday so if I keep scrolling down I mean, you can see after 139 games, if you're staking £2, you'd be £118 in profit. If you're staking £10, you'd be £592. If you're staking £20, you'd be £1,184 in profit at level stakes, which is amazing, really. Um, so if we keep going, I want to show you where we get to a, the worst run that we've had. Here it is. So as you can see, this was the 23rd of November. Um, and it just, yeah, nothing came in, basically. Um the stats suggested the same as they have for all the other games. Um, there was no change in variables. It's just we went on a bit of a run where nothing came in. Um, and some of them were quite big scores. You know, 3-0 to the away team, Portsmouth. Um, another quite easy game in Argentina. I mean, some of them, to be fair, were pretty close. Um, and some of them were quite high odds so I mean you're obviously taking a bit more of a gamble on ones that are odds of five but as we saw earlier they do come off sometimes um, so yeah I mean we lost a few points here um, and then we recovered them slightly down this is this is one where I give a bit of advice when betting if you've gone on a bad run like this this is where I might use the 85 minute cash out so to break that cycle in this Costa Rica game it, the goal was scored in the 89th minute so I've took the cash out um, at 85 as soon as that one came because I wanted to break the cycle, get back in the green. Um, and so I indicate this by seeing that the odds were 4.6, but when I look at the level profit, level stakes profits, I've only taken 3.4. It's an estimate um, because I didn't actually stake on this game. This is for illustrative purposes. So rather than taking the full 4.6 uh, down to 3.6 as profit, I've took 0.2 off because it was the 89th minute and the odds will be slightly different won't they you won't get quite the full odds but it was pretty close in the 89th minute so um yeah so that's why i've taken taken that in the leagues category over here um i'll class all of the yellow games all of the 85 minutes as losses so even though that one what was it in costa rica yeah costa rica premier division um i don't know if we've got any winners in the costa rica league so far um oh, there it is at the bottom yeah three and zero minus four points that should be four four and zero minus four points so you can see that i didn't record that as a win but on the results spreadsheet i decided that i'd take that to to end the run and the reason even more so in a later video i'm going to show you how this works at um, increasing stakes which i did mention in a previous video a year ago and the results are pretty staggering to be honest um, when you can see how much you'd make at level stakes with increasing stakes if if it's something that you if you've got a bit of a if you're a bit of an adrenaline junkie then it's certainly worth looking at so up to now we'd be 155 pound in profit if we only stake two pound a bet 777 if we stake 10 pound a bet and 1555 pound in profit if we stake 20 pound a bet and that's after what 191 games because of the the filter at the top uh, 191 games yeah and just over two weeks so I mean 1500 quid over two weeks is not too shoddy at all I'm giving you a little sneak view aren't I here of, of the games that I've got coming up on my filter I might as well leave them in then now um, yeah so these these are what's thrown up so keep an eye on those or come back to this video uh, come back to one of my future videos and you can see that I'm not lying I won't take these out and if they all lose you'll see them when I update the spreadsheet um, yeah so I hope that that proves interesting um, again this is something that I'm happy to 
provide as an export potentially if people are interested so if you like uh, like the video so that I know what's going on and I know that it's worth me sorting that out uh, subscribe to the channel so that I can keep you up to date and I'll be I am going to be on it now there's going to be a lot more videos as you can see I've done a lot of work on this so I've actually got some content to share with you I don't want to just share nonsense just for the sake of it um, so I've been away doing this it's a bit of a passion project of mine uh, and I'm quite proud to share it so I will be sharing more videos so if you like and subscribe keep up to date um, in the future I might be able to share the results going the, the selections going forward as you can see I've already shared you some free ones look at that free content I've already shared these slightly by accident but I, don't, I really don't mind um, I might be able to make them available to people but that's going to take a little bit more work and again let me know in the comments uh, if that's something you'd be interested in because I can start to try and create a framework for that uh, and see how that I can get them to people so again thanks very much for, uh, for, for watching and like and subscribe and let me know what you want me to do next cheers